Hi, Peter King with the MMQB here, and this is One on One with Peter King, presented by the new Windows. I caught up with Denver running back Monty Ball this week here at the Super Bowl. Very, very enlightening about his roots with Peyton Manning. Monty, you told me at training camp this year that you got a text very soon after you were drafted. You didn't really know who it was from. You were at your party. Tell me that story. Yeah, I was, I was hanging out with my family. and uh, I was You were gonna, back in Madison. Yeah, 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 back in Madison, yep, at a hotel in a banquet hall, hanging out with my family. And then um, I was getting a bunch of texts, and, you know, I'm, I'm scrolling through them, reading them, reading them. And then I get to the, this last one, and I'm reading it. I'm like, okay, thank you, thank you. It's congratulations, all that stuff. And then I get to the bottom of it, and it says P. Manning. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> I like freak out. I'm like, I'm like, mom, dad, you know, Peyton Manning just texted me. And, uh, <laughs> did you was, did you wonder whether it was real, or did he say too much that you knew it had to be real? I knew I knew it was real just because of what he was saying. What he said in the text uh, really hit home for me because uh, he was he was congratulating me and he said, uh, "We're really looking forward to you, looking forward to have you here because we're looking forward for you to help us, you know, uh, make it to New York." The rookies who've played with Manning always say things like, he'll tell them, okay, the real work starts now. Mm-hmm. What, what has it been like being with him this year? And give me an example of a way that he has sort of ex- maybe accelerated the learning process with right, you. Right, right. Well, first off, it's been great with him. It's been great just because uh, he's most definitely a leader in, in every way, and he does a great job of making everybody around him better. Really, a, a lot of times after practice, he would talk to me tell me uh, you know what I need to be better on and it really helped me you know on the field before we even go into the meeting room he he I'd run routes with him take some handoffs from him uh, and, and, and I think that really helped he made me a better player even though you aren't say the number one back here and maybe you could have gone somewhere else and been the number one back what is it like for you now knowing that wherever you're going to be in your NFL career you'll have this as sort of a base of yeah. knowledge for you. That's great. Yeah, uh, that's a great way that you put it. Uh, I could, probably could be somewhere else, but I'm very glad that I landed here because uh, as a child, this has been my favorite team. So it's most definitely extremely rare and a blessing. I think it's great that I, I landed in, in the Super Bowl my rookie year because now I understand what it took to get here. And uh, from here on out, uh, I know what it takes. Just want to ask you two things about Russell Wilson. So did you ever imagine when you guys were – toiling together that one summer in Madison that you'd be on the biggest stage trying to knock each other's blocks off. Oh, well, obviously, yeah, I ne- never, never thought it'd be like that, uh, but very, very fortunate situation for us for us both. Uh, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. He's most definitely a great leader, obviously, by leading this team to the Super Bowl. Uh, so uh, I'm going to talk to him after the game, but uh, I have yet to talk to him now because he, he's the enemy. In that one month before you guys started playing games in Madison, the one year that he was there, what can a guy do in one month to become a captain of a college team? I mean, that's the one thing that I, he, I mean, he played great that year. Yeah. But to have been the captain of his team after just having been there for a month, how did that happen? Well, man, we, we, we all would watch him whenever he didn't know that we were watching him just to see what he was doing. He had flashcards to learn our offense. And we're like, you know what? I mean, this guy seems like he's, he's serious. He's very serious and determined. <laughs> he would be the first one in the meetings early in the morning and the last one at night to leave and watch him film. We're like, you know what? We're like, this guy is very determined. He's here for a reason. He knows what he's here for. And, you know, we need this guy to lead us. Good luck on Sunday. I appreciate it. Thank you. Our thanks to Monty Ball and our thanks to you for watching One on One with Peter King, presented by the new Windows. <laughs> <laughs>